Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany. And I'm here with Irshad Raihan of HP. And big data, analytics, those two things seem to be popping up everywhere. I mean, not just at HP Discover, but everywhere. What's your take? It's all the buzz, isn't it? And you must be seeing it all the time, given how many conferences you cover. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's kind of interesting. I was reading this report from uh, Gartner the other day about um, CIO priorities and CEO priorities, actually. And it listed analytics in the top five over the past five or six years. So that kind of gives you a sense of um, you know, how important this is to businesses. And really what it's about is um, information being perceived as a competitive differentiator. And it's not just the digital online businesses, but it's also the brick and mortar businesses that have been around for many, many years that are starting to see that there's a lot of nuggets buried within their data. We heard Meg Whitman talk about um, agriculture being a um, kind of a data science driven um, industry, which is just, I, I just found that quite amazing. And then of course, uh, Jeff Kratzenberg from DreamWorks talked about how much technology is it's, it's married into the, their creative process. What, is, what does this mean for the CIO? Because I mean, obviously more data, more analytics means probably more work without any more budget. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's a twin inch sword a little bit, you know. Um, you've got the challenges, of course, but you, there's also opportunities because um, I think what it what it means to the CIO professionally is essentially the CIO is not kind of broken into the clique of C-level execs because now the CIO is much more um, core to the business strategy, not just the IT strategy of the company, right? Uh, and, and in terms of approaches to this problem, I think uh, what broadly what we're seeing is uh, there's three really um, kind of different approaches that, and sometimes a mix of the, the three approaches. But what we see is uh, either CIOs look at their existing um, infrastructure and go, well, how can I just scale this to uh, meet the demand of you know, what, I'm, what I'm seeing, what I'm having to deal with from uh, a business perspective? And that works for certain types of uh, workloads, but really when you look at the systems that have been in place that were designed in the 70s and 80s, they weren't designed with text and social media and you know all these different types of data and just the amount of data, data that's coming in. So that's one challenge. Whether it's uh, in-memory databases like SAP HANA or uh, real-time uh, databases like Vertica, uh, there's there's specialized appliances that you get you know for for Hadoop or you know just the various um, technologies that are out there and a lot of times they're packaged together as well. So these are specialized big data appliances that complement the rest of your BI ecosystem. And the third approach that we're seeing is cloud, whether it's you know going private cloud or just going outside of the the enterprise and trying to look for a cloud solution. And HP did announce uh, appliance solutions here at HP Discover in Frankfurt. What what does that mean for uh, for the way that the CIO is going to use uh, the big data differently? Yeah. So this is this is kind of falls into that that category of specialized uh, appliances. We call them app systems. Uh, in this case, we announced an app system for Apache Hadoop. And essentially, what this is is a pre-integrated, pre-optimized, pre-tested fully integrated solution that's ready to go from day one. So you drop it into your data center and it's good to go. And you've got you've got the entire stack in there. So it starts with being built on uh, HP Converge infrastructure. So that means you know the ProLine Gen 8 servers. Um, in this case, we use um, the uh, 380Es for worker nodes and the 360Ps for the management nodes, the job tracker nodes, and the head nodes. Um, there's also um, networking switches, the 5830s as well as uh, it's, it's all built on uh, the Red Hat platform. And you've got the Cloudera uh, software. So this is you know, Cloudera Manager, uh, the Cloudera distribution for Hadoop, of course, and you can optionally upgrade to the Cloudera distribution for HBase as well. And what we've also got on there the um, community edition of uh, Vertica. So basically what it is is, is kind of a, a fully baked uh, Hadoop system that's ready to go from day one. And you've got the uh, opportunity to extend that to uh, you know, multiple configurations. So it comes with a kind of a half rack and a full rack configuration. The half rack is nine uh, 380E worker nodes and the full rack is 18 of them. And then of course you can add on uh, racks as you like. And like I said, you can, you can um, start with the community edition of Vertica uh, as you as you figure that well, uh, you know I need to run more sophisticated types of uh, maybe statistical analysis uh, in Vertica. You can you can kind of upgrade that, or you can upgrade to uh, you know various components in the in the Cloudera stack as well. Now, is that something that that uh, could burst out to the cloud if you had had sudden need for compute 
resources or is it something that you really have to kind of scale out with more worker nodes? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, the, the, the most common use case that we see is really just scaling out with more worker nodes. Um, and again, that's the beauty of Hadoop, that you're able to scale out seamlessly. And it's the way that we built Hadoop with our cluster management utility software that's been around more than a decade, that's been managing these kind of high performance computing clusters for, you know, like I said, for more than a decade. And so that part is, is done seamlessly for you. So you can have, uh, in theory, a heterogeneous uh, data center where literally you have laptops, you have servers from different you know vendors. For instance, you have you have servers that have been lying around and uh, you know you're not quite sure what to do with them. You can just keep adding them into your cluster, and Hadoop and and cluster management utility basically figures out how much workload to send to each um, each of these nodes. So it's a really great scale out story, and that's what we're seeing a lot of our customers. They want to start out small. A lot of them start out in pilot, and as they move to production, they're able to scale seamlessly. We're seeing some great. Um, uh, you know, great proof points around that. Uh, with CMU, for instance, you're able to, uh, I think uh, I saw a proof point the other day about 800 nodes in, in under 30 minutes, you know? And, and just in terms of performance as well, we ran a, a 10 terabyte uh, TerraSort uh, benchmark, and we came out almost four times faster than the competition. So it's, it's a great story, both from a performance as well as a scale perspective. So how does this fit into the overall picture of HP's information optimization story that's being told here? Yeah, that's a great question because it's not just about Hadoop, right? When we speak to customers, they want to look at it as, well, I've got a kind of a big data strategy. I've got, I've got a roadmap in mind. How can you help me get to where you know, I, I want to be in five years uh, compared to where I am now? And, and it's, it's really about how Hadoop and Vertica and, and autonomy kind of fit in to this bigger information optimization um, uh, kind of a picture. And it's not just that, it's also, you know, you've, you've got to think about storage. Storage has some great announcements at Discover, right? Um, and and there, there's multiple facets of um, not just the technology, but also the way you get your different lines of businesses to talk. And we have a number of services that will basically go into your organization, uh, set up a big data strategy for you or a roadmap for you. Um, and from a, from a solutions perspective, um, the story that, that, that has really resonated really well with customers is you know, using Hadoop for maybe low cost warehousing types of uh, applications, uh, as well as exploratory types of analysis, and then the more niche, real time type of analytics happening in Vertica, and your context based computing happening inside of Autonomy. So it's really a great story overall.